everyone, welcome back to the episode of the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the navigation bar. So we're going to clean up the navigation bar so we can access the organization page or the contacts page. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to go into the uh, a contact here and you can see up here I have two new uh, navigation bars. And I haven't added the icons yet, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but basically, you can see here, I can switch between organizations and contacts, which means I can now go to the organization page and manage the organization if I want to, uh, or I can go to the contacts page. Now, here's the thing, right? Uh, notice that, uh, you know, the, the organization and the contacts button actually goes away. Now, this is because right now in the URL, we have no context. What do I mean by that? Well, we don't know which account we are in. Like, you know, we haven't selected an account from the dashboard just yet which is why the organized the navigation bars don't show up. So what we need to do is we need to um, write the code to manage all that. So in this episode right here, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do just that. All right, so uh, let's hop into the code. So right here, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the like what I've done in terms of the layout. So yeah, we're doing work in the layout. Um, so uh, I did a lot of styling stuff, but I don't really want to focus on the styling. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through like the, the styling that I did. So in the links, uh, in the index of the layout, I added a few, uh, I added this chunk over here to, you know, clean up the hovering and the, the nav bar, the way it looks and all that. I added like a border radius and all. So, um, you know, if you want, you're welcome to uh, take a look at the CSS and copy and paste if you want, if you're not interested in that. Uh, and I added this navigation component. Now, navigation component is where all the magic's actually happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all this. I'm going to walk you guys through the whole process again. Um, and actually, we're going to clean this up uh, even more. Um, so basically, um, you know, then I also use a grid system to kind of like get this three uh, column thing into my nav. So I have the the brand on the left hand side, then the nav, then the the profile of the user. Um, so yeah, all right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete the navigation component. And uh, basically, I'm going to show you guys a cool, uh, a few cool new tricks. Uh, and basically, now if I reload, um, it should be broken. Basically, we have nothing now. So um, it's still referencing the navigation component. So I added that and then basically imported it. So you guys should know how to do all that by now. So let's re implement the navigation uh, component. So I'm going to import React from React. And then uh, I'm going to do a class navigation extends react.peer component. And then basically do a render. And uh, I'm going to do a return. Div, div. And we're going to do an export, export default navigation. All right, so we're back. So now we that that whole thing is gone. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to write the CSS that's going to, um, you know, handle that part over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the style from here. So I have this uh, pure menu list. So I'm going to copy that and paste that. So I'm going to use a UL instead. UL, and then I'm gonna do a list li and class name pure menu item. All right, uh, so now I can actually add a href uh, organizations. And you'll see that it actually shows up. Uh, but we need to add the style. So class name, pure menu link. And you can see that it actually works now. Uh, so we need to do a few things. Uh, you know, we can't just obviously use this. It, it doesn't obviously work yet because it's just a, you know, it's got an empty H href. Uh, so what we essentially need to do then is uh, we need to use the uh, React component. How? Here's the thing, right? Um, right now, uh, we don't really have access to the param. So let me show you. Um, so I'm going to do a console.log, this.props. 
And we don't actually have access to this.props.param. So let me go into the inspect element, show you guys the console. That's it. That, that's all we're getting. We don't have access to the params. That's because th this, this component is nested inside of a layout. Um, and basically, if we want to access the params from inside of this component, uh, there's two ways to do it, right? We can use it from, from um, you know, uh, uh, this page. So if we go here, so console dot log this dot props. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean here. So here we have this uh, dot props at params. And then what we can do is we can pass the params into here. So params this So uh, the this dot props are perhaps only accessible, uh, you know, in the component that's that's um, directly being rendered by our by our router. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I go into here, you'll see that we have the router component here, the route component C component application. So that's the one that's be, that's rendering this layout over here. Now, what happens if we are in, inside of a component? We don't want to pass the param around. We can access the params. And that's using the utility call with router. Uh, so I'm going to remove all of this, uh, so we don't actually have to pass, um, you know, the the you know this dot props the params into the component to be able to access the the params. Uh, I'm going to actually use the with router. So I'm going to do an import with router and link. We're going to need that as well from React router. So by the way, uh, I'm using React Router 3 and I haven't upgraded to 4 yet. That's because, you know, 4 breaks a lot of stuff and I just don't like the way that 4 works. Uh, so um, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about why I'm still using React 3 a little bit later and what my plans are in terms of upgrade and roadmaps and stuff like that. All right, so I have the with router. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use it with router like that. So this is a decorator I'm wrapping around my component. And what's going to happen now is if I do um, this.profs and console.log, you'll see that it actually renders out the router. So I have, ha have access to the router. Uh, I actually also have access to the params. So I have C over here. So I can do this.profs.params now. So uh, I have access to params. So if account.id equals Acme Inc. That's great. So now we have context uh, from our URL. So what we can do is we can uh, implement the, the link now. So I'm going to go into my uh, const and I'm going to get the params this dot props. And essentially, uh, now we're going to use a link. So I'm going to do a link to and here we're going to do accounts slash uh, params dot uh, accounts ID and then slash organization. Link. So close it out. So I'm going to remove this guy here. Uh, I also need to implement a few more things. I need to implement the classes. So if you take a look over here, we have the pure menu link, styles links, and we need to do all of that stuff. So I'm going to do class name, and I'm going to use a class name utility. So import class names from class names. Awesome. And now we're going to do a class names. And here we're going to do pure menu link. And then styles.links. All right. Let's see. Did we break something? Yeah, we did. So import styles from index.sass. All right. So now we can see the organizations looking pretty uh, sassy right there. Um, so, you know, it looks in theme with everything else. So that works. So what we need to do is kind of like show the active, um, the, the active link. So, uh, basically I'm going to copy this whole link and I'm going to create the same thing for the, for the contacts. Uh, so I'm going to go here, uh, move this back a little bit. I'm going to do contacts and do contacts. 
So now we can jump between the two, uh, but actually I don't want to render this inside of this li. I want to do it outside. So li class name, pure menu item, li close it out, and I'm going to paste that guy right there like that. Now if I go back, I can see organization contacts. Now um, we need to kind of like highlight the current, um, you know, the current page, if you will. Uh, so we have a utility uh, called a uh, utility prop in our link. So active class name. And we need to do styles dot active. So I implemented this all in the CSS. If you are unclear about any of this stuff, please check out, um, you know, how I implemented that in the CSS file, uh, as I showed in the beginning of the episode. All right, so here we go active class name. There we go. So now we can click and we can see which page we're on. So this is kind of like a, a navigation bar. So the next progression will be to like, you know, make this a little bit nicer to like use uh, icons maybe. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that a little bit later, uh, maybe in the next episode. Uh, but for now, so everything is working. We once we have context. So if we don't have context, now we need to fix that. Like, you know, right now, if I click here, it's going to get undefined and that's going to break stuff. So what we need to do is we need to not render this uh, if we do not have a um, if we do not have a context. So how do we check that? Well, we can check with the so uh, if um, params dot account ID equals undefined, then we're going to return null essentially. So I'm going to go back here. So when we're here, we don't have the context of which account we're in. Navigation just not rendering. It's just showing null. So if I go inside, I have context. We have Agni Inc here. Um, then we see the contacts and we can go to the organization. And so um, next progression is we're going to clean this up, add maybe an icon, uh, and then we can add a link to allow us to actually create an organization. And then we'll back to the contacts where we can actually choose which organization we want to create the contact in. All right, guys, that was a lot of content. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like and share this episode with your friends and family. Um, and this is another free episode. So we're releasing two free episodes this week. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I have a lot of updates coming for you guys as well uh, in terms of the website, the new uh, brand new platform that we're going to be working with and, and like all kinds of features. So I don't want to talk about that any further because I can't show you guys anything yet. But until then, you know, Keep your um, keep your excitement up for the site. Uh, become a member to support us uh, because you know that's the only way we're able to fund this whole process to actually build a platform to produce the content. And uh, yeah, so with that, I want to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.